All right, so this is how you change uh, <coughs> front and rear brake pads on a 2011 Toyota Sienna. After you loosen up the lock nuts, lift the car up. All you need is a new brake pad, a uh, brake caliper piston press, 14 millimeter wrench. That's all about it. All right, after you take the wheel off, all you have to loosen up is those two bolts. One on the back right here, one up, and then one down. So you gotta take your 14, I believe this is a 13, but I have a 14 right now. I don't know where my 13 is. You should be able to loosen up by hand. And the back one. There you go. All you do now, you just loosen up the bolts. Actually, you take them out completely. Boom. And now, this is the uh, piston. A little rusty, but it works. And those are the old pads. Worn out. You can take them out. You can take them out easily. Come on, just stay there. All right, so this is the difference between the new one and the old one. Old one, it's probably 30% of the new one. So usually you replace the front three times and the back once. So this is gonna last a while. And right now what you're doing it's put those back, put the new ones in place. This one, this is the old one, and get a new one and place it right where it belongs. So, I gotta do this. them in place right now what I have to do it's uh, press this pistol right here basically what do you do put this tool glue it down I'm using one of the old ones I just put it in here I just put it in here And then compress the piston. You'll see as the piston it moves, moves back. And now the piston is all the way in. And now we'll be able to slide it over the new pads. Basically, sorry about that. Those little pistons over here. There you go. Slide them back a little bit to fit. Up and down. the bolts back is all good all right now when you press the handbrake or emergency brake you would uh you would lock it up make sure you pump it a couple times before you go to a wrong trip and test out the brakes so this is the process basically you do the same thing in the front
the only difference in the front the pads are back are uh, larger a little bit longer and you got two pistons depends how many how many pistons the caliber has so that's about it this is the process it's under five minutes for each wheel if I didn't have to do it one-handed and all that stuff so that's it probably 30 minutes 40 minutes we're done with one car and save some money peace